What is up vlog? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. We're shopping today. We're getting out of the car currently and we're going to Trader Joe's, Sprouts, and Target. I just got back from my trip. I hope you guys all saw the wedding vlog. If you didn't, go check that out. But we're back in town and we're shopping because I need groceries. Okay, Trader Joe's is done. We're going to try this pumpkin spice latte from La Colombe. I don't know how to pronounce this. And it says perfectly sweet and creamy. Okay, I'll be the judge of that. Let's try this together. ASMR. Okay, it's very creamy, very frothy. So they're right, perfectly sweet and creamy. It doesn't have much of like a coffee taste to it. It's like very light on the inside. I don't know if you can see that. I don't want to spill, but it's very light on the inside, which means it's not very coffee-y to me. That's what I'm seeing. It's good though. Definitely a quick pick me up and I'm happy I purchased it. If I have to rate it, I would give it like a six out of 10 just because it's like, okay, but it's not something that like you need to try. And the Target trip is done. Next, we're going to go to Sprouts and then I'm gonna figure out what I'm eating for lunch. Let's go. All right, Sprouts was successful. We were in and out very quickly. Now I'm going to head to get some lunch. Not really in the mood for like food food, but you know, just something to pick me up. You feel? Let's go do that. Okay, so I went to Wendy's real quick. Got a little biggie bag, you know, four for five dollars and we have a water. Let's start the haul. We got some fresh cut pineapple. They had these in stock today. They had all of the apple sauces in stock today, like apple carrot, apple, apple banana, apple strawberry. This is the one that called to me today. I really love apple and strawberry. So. Six bananas, love bananas. Bananas are like my breakfast because my body just does not eat, you know? I mean, I do eat, but I struggle with like eating. I have struggled with eating for a while. Some of you probably know that, but I'm getting better. Bananas is one of those things that I can like stomach no matter what time of the day it is, especially first thing in the morning. Impossible nuggets. This is a staple in my diet for some reason. I'm just obsessed with it. We got some kombucha. This one is a health aid kombucha. Also, we have this alive, which is a ancient mushroom elixir. It says root beer with reishi, chaga, and turkey tail. I don't know, I'm really excited about this. And it's made by GT's, which is one of my favorite brands for kombucha in general. We got some organic vegetarian chili. Rice. I decided that I'm not going to be lazy, that I am going to get the bag of rice and just cook it. It only takes like 15 to 20 minutes to cook this rice and I feel like it tastes so much better than when I get it out of like the pre-packaged bag. So I'm gonna stop doing that and just cook myself. This is the jasmine rice from Thailand. Candle, necessity, this is the vanilla pumpkin one. Take a sniff, mm-hmm. Fall season, I feel like, is already winding down. They all already had the, like, Christmas stuff up. Everywhere I went, there was already, like, Christmas stuff. And I was like, I didn't even decorate for Halloween. Like, give me a second. But that's okay. We also have peanut butter. And that's it for Trader Joe's. Life hack. Put your groceries away in between each video segment. Especially if you do something like I do, it saves me so much time. And now we're gonna move on to Target. This is actually from Sprouts, but it's in the Target bag because it didn't fit in the Sprouts bag. But Target was like bare bones dry on the bread section. So I did have to get this from Sprouts. And I didn't want to sacrifice my multigrain bread. I'm just so obsessed with this. So I did get some strawberry and peanut butter on Crustables, just as like an easy snack. You know what I'm saying? The razors, you know, these are my favorite. I got a coconut water. You know, this one's my favorite. If you don't know, this one's my favorite. The Vita Coco Pineapple. Chef's Kiss, delicious. We got some more Kind Bars. These ones are also my favorite, the Cranberry Almond. We got three avocados today. Great. A necessity as well. Don't forget to wash your fruit when it gets home, okay? Especially if it wasn't pre-washed or like wet when you got it in store. We're gonna wash these grapes. Another candle because you know I can't help myself. Oh, and the fall scents are like almost gone because fall's almost over. So I got warm cider and cinnamon. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, I got warm cider and cinnamon. It's delicious. Go ahead and sniff that one too. Mm. It's only $6 for this one. I like these a lot because they're so cheap and they last a while. And then lastly from Target, we got some tortillas, some Mission Soft Taco Flour Tortillas. I'm gonna make jackfruit tacos with these. I'm very excited. Let's move on to Sprouts. First things first, you know I had to get some kale. 
know that, if you don't know that, I love kale. Again, they did not have red kale, which is kind of making me sad, but it's okay, we can settle for the green kale. It's still beautiful, it still tastes just as yummy. Yup. Oh my god, I love kale. Still, I feel like I need to wash that a little bit. Don't forget to wash your food when it gets home, okay? Yep. We got some mini Kumado tomatoes. I'm excited. Some tofu. I love just like stocking up on tofu and having it. This is only $1.99 and it lasts me quite some time. At least like four meals, usually, for one of these like blocks of tofu. And then I got these. They're called True Nepal Prickly Pear Cactus Water. They were two for three, so I figured I would get them. I haven't tried them. I'm all about natural hydration. I'm all about being hydrated. And you know, I love coconut water, so I thought let's try something different. A little prickly pear cactus water. We're still on sale, buy one, get one free. So we did this as well. These are really yummy. And lastly, we got these Hillary's Organic Black Rice Veggie Burgers. Made with black rice, adzuki beans, sweet potato, and leafy greens. And I know that I like adzuki beans. I've had something like this before. They came in a four pack and they were only $3.99. So I was like, steal, let's scoop them up. All right, so that is the grocery haul. Thanks guys for coming along with me. I'm going to finish putting this away, finish my little lunch, and then we're gonna go for a walk because I feel like it's time for a walk. Do you ever go on walks and feel like Snow White, you know, with like the birds and the squirrels and the wind and the trees? Because that's currently how I'm feeling and I'm just like so smiley and just having the best time. Like I feel like just skipping around the street. I'm like, ah, what a perfect day to just skip around the street and just like enjoy life. Do you ever do that? If not, you should try. Hello. Hi guys. So sometimes I walk by those pit bulls and I love seeing them. I'm a huge animal person, so just like seeing dogs in general, cats, squirrels, butterflies, birds, like I love that. But these pit bulls are just like so special to me for some reason. I walk by them every once in a while and I haven't seen them in like two, three weeks because it's been really hot. So they haven't been like outside while I'm outside, but it's a pretty cool day. So I feel like their owner let them out in the front yard. So I had to record them for you and like show you guys them. They're just so sweet and they always bark at me and then I always talk back to them. And we're back from the walk. It was kind of like a walk slash run. I didn't think I was going to end up running today because I haven't run in like four or five days since I went on my little trip. And I was like, I don't think I'm going to run today. My stomach wasn't really feeling it. But then I started walking for a bit. And I was like, no, we can walk and run, period. We can run too. So I took it slow and I stretched out the legs and it was really nice and really enjoyable and now we're home and I'm going to take my makeup off, shower, and work on editing a vlog. Yep, that's my night. We're actually going to see Kate today, if you remember Kate from the Disneyland vlog. We're going to have brunch today at this place called Nick's on Beverly. It's a vegan restaurant. I've heard some really great things about it. I'm excited. I haven't been into Beverly Hills in a minute, so we're going. But I want to unbox these shoes with you because I ordered these shoes before I went to the wedding, but they didn't come in time. They were just so sexy online. I'll throw up a picture of what they looked like online. And they came in the mail when I got back to LA. So I thought I would save them for this special occasion for Kate and I to go out. This is what the box is looking like. There's a lot of tape on here. Oh, okay. Now me struggling to get this open. I have scissors. Hold on. Scissors probably would have been a good idea. Always cut away from yourself. Yeah, I thought that was going to be easier. It wasn't. The shoes come in a little safe casing like this. Oh my god, they are just as sexy in person. Holy shit. Do you see this? Do you, do you see this? And they're gonna go so good with the outfit today. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so excited Of course, I'll try them on and I'll show you what the outfit looks like in a second But I have one more thing that we have to try on camera together before I go to this brunch Which of course I'll take you along to We're trying this true Nepal 
cactus water. Let's taste it. So coconut water has like a, like a milky kind of a flavor and it's really like, I don't know, there's something about coconut water that's just like really yummy to me because it has that like coconutty milky flavor. This doesn't. It really just kind of tastes like water with a little bit of like sweetness in it, like a little teeny tiny bit of sweetness, but it's basically just water, which is cool with me. I like water, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'm not really giving anything special just off the taste. I'm definitely gonna drink the rest of it, you know, since I bought it, but that's me trying this out. You don't need it, okay? You don't need it. Let's go to this brunch. Let's go to the brunch. We're back with Kate. All right, so we're back home. I had the best time with Kate ever. I always love getting together with Kate. Kate is such a beautiful human being. I'm so grateful that Kate exists and I'm so grateful that Kate and I are friends. So we went to Nick's on Beverly. The food slaps, so good. The pizza was so good. I got a pepperoni Detroit style pizza because that's what Nick's on Beverly is like famous for. That's what I've known about them, that they're really good with their plant-based Detroit style pizzas. So I got the pepperoni one. It was amazing. I have to give it like an eight out of 10 just because I like the one at Crossroads a little bit better. Crossroads is also a plant-based vegan kitchen and they also have a pizza that is to die for. They have a supreme pizza at, um, they have a supreme pizza at Crossroads and it is so, so, so good. But the one that I had today at Nixon Beverly was also amazing. I got a mimosa to start and then I ended up having a glass of red wine just because I felt like it. And the pumpkin cheesecake was so good. The star of the show though was the little sorbet that came on the side. I don't even remember what it was, but it was like an orange colored sorbet. I can't even like describe the flavors to you. It was like tropical and orangey and just delicious. The way that it like melted in my mouth. Like I want a whole pint of that sorbet. So good. Good. And then after lunch, our little brunch moment, we decided to go over to the Beverly Center, which is not somewhere I have ever been. And we walked around the Beverly Center for a minute. The Beverly Center has like eight floors to it. That was fun. We ended up going into a couple different shops. I went in to look into Zara. Zara has some really cute clothes right now. And also Diesel, so good. There were so many good finds at Diesel. Diesel is just like above my price range right now. I'm not willing to spend $225 on a pair of pants. And I had the best time just walking around the Beverly Center with Kate. And then we also went into Sephora because I wanted to look at the new House Labs foundation because I've been seeing it everywhere and it looks amazing. It is $45. The House Labs foundation does retail for $45 but I found it in Sephora. I actually happen to be the exact same color as Lady Gaga, which is really interesting. And I didn't end up picking it up because they didn't have that color in store and I wasn't willing to go a little bit lighter. In their shade range, I can work like three different colors. So my color is 220, light, medium, warm or something like that, which is the same color as Lady Gaga, but 210 and 200 are also colors that I could work. It's just that those two lighter colors make it look like I'm actually wearing foundation, whereas 220 is like my 
perfect shade and it doesn't really look like foundation. It just kind of blends into my skin so it doesn't have that like makeup look. So I think I will go to another Sephora to pick it up. I didn't want to like order it online and wait for it to come in. I'm weird like that. I'm just weird like that. So I didn't end up picking it up. But I did buy one thing while I was in Sephora because we were in there so long and I felt like buying something. So I got this cult staple Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Pencil, and I'm very excited about it, okay? Very excited. I spent $26 at Sephora on this one lip pencil. Yes, that's why we don't go to Sephora very often because everything is like luxury brand, you know what I'm saying? But I was just getting tired of wearing drugstore foundation all the time, so I wanted to see if the House Labs foundation would work for me. It's a medium to full coverage buildable foundation, and it's definitely full coverage, honey. Like, it starts out medium to full, and I'm guessing you can build on top of it. I tested it in the store, and I feel like it's gonna be right up my alley, so I will pick that up at some point. But we're home now. I'm going to eat the rest of my pizza, change, and probably go for like a little walk slash run just to finish the day. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you guys so much for coming along for the vlogs always. I love you guys. Love you, love you, love you, love you, love you so much. <laughs>